this gloriously imposing arena. Absolutely perfect for a game of this nature. Celtic have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly. So it's away we go then. Van Aken. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Otoy moved on forwards. Some good work on the right flank here. Goes searching with that cross. Well, not the worst attempt. A little technical tweak should help the quality. Johnston. Bruges going wide appreciably more than they had been. Yeah, they're just making more of the increased time on the ball there and asking some interesting questions too, whether it's bringing someone into play or drifting inside. Good movement. It has been a rather gentle affair so far. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Yeah, listen, we often get critical of a, a forwards tackle, but that was squeaky clean. Oh, easy pickings there. Van Aken. Played into the mid, towering header! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. O'Reilly. Forwards and with intent. Tries to get it clear. Been leave it clear. Bruges can counter promptly here. Van Aken looking for the runner. Can he latch onto this? That right side seems to have become a very good outlet for them now. 
Look, it's the width that's providing this momentum and, and they look set to further exploit. Really aren't convincing right now. It has to start in defence, but the whole team needs a wake-up call. Boyata. Van Aken just eases him off the ball. Van Aken cuts a frustrated figure right now. He just cannot get away. Ah, uh, he needs a minder, and one of his teammates should be picking up on that, and quickly. Love hits one! Goal! Oh, high quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Bruges break the deadlock. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. It's an inviting looking ball that. Van Aken. Sends it forward. Oh, he's going to be disappointed with that. And back to the keeper they go. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So the end of the first half, both teams have had their moments. There's been no shortage of talking points, but there has been just one goal. And that is the state of it at the break. 1-0. Well, it hasn't exactly gone to plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. Well, the action has already resumed here. Celtic don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. They get a throw in. Oh, that's such a good run. More of that, please. And the finish! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. That is a great pick out. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Looks to go up and over. Well, some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Otoy. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side.
decent hit! Danger averted for now. And that's caused a worry or two. Oh, that's really good play on the right. He's driving forward. It's run loose here. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. You know, the interest value in this game might just take off from here. Chance! Sticks it away! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Complete awareness. He understood what was needed, and he executed it smoothly. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Bruges grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Played in. Brilliantly cut out. Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him pass. Johnston. Bruges might just have gone into conservation mode here. Their focus now is clearly to just hold on. Unlike their opponents who have to do precisely the opposite and time is running out on them. He's got the shot away! Now who's going to be first to this? Simon Mignolet herring off to the ball here. Tries a header! And somehow he managed to miss it. Well, they're definitely going about things the right way, Peter. A goal soon can, can bolster energy levels now. It's a quick ball upfield. Oh, that's a key interception. Great hit! Van Aken. Celtic are certainly now looking like a sorry lot. They haven't got a proper defence or attack for that matter. O'Reilly. Johnston. Carter Vickers. Good spot, he's seen the run. Oh, it's come loose. Chance to break. The message is clear, none shall pass. Oh, shooting chance! Deep, deep into injury time! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. Celtic can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... 
And that will be the final act.